Hi, so in this video I'm going to be going over the production possibility frontier or as it's often abbreviated the PPF for short and so what we think of when we think of the PPF is we're thinking of a curve which shows the maximum output of any two goods in an economy and I say two goods we're not necessarily just thinking about two goods we could think of two categories of goods or two sectors of an economy but in order to illustrate this and understand it on a basic level I will first use some examples of just two specific random goods just to see what our PPF is actually showing and we can remember that this is the curve that is being shown just by the name the production possibility frontier is showing the highest possible production that we can have and just another name for this curve we can think of this as a frontier or a boundary as other people may know it as a PPB but usually we use PPF and because we have the highest possible production we are showing how resources must be traded off between our two chosen goods because we are producing the maximum amount possible so in order to increase production of one good we're then going to have to decrease production of the other good and I'll illustrate these ideas a little more concretely using this roughly drawn out diagram of a PPF curve so our PPF curves will tend to look like this they'll be downward sloping and we usually see this sort of curved shape with respect to the origin and this curve from A to C. But first we need to discuss what our axes are. So here I've just got a Y axis and an X axis and on our axes we're going to have a different good. So instead of just saying good Y we could say that on the Y axis we have let's say pens. We are producing some amount of pens on the Y axis and on the X axis we can just say let's say pencils so these two goods they may be produced in the same type of factory they're very similar to each other but there's going to be a maximum number of pens and pencils that we can produce in our economy and we're going to have to trade off our production of these two goods but how do we trade them off so our PPF as we say is showing the maximum amount of these goods that we can produce. So if we start by looking at point A here, this is a point that's on our y-axis. And if we consider this point, this says that we can produce this A amount of pens, but we are then only going to be able to produce zero pencils because we are at this point A. And if we increase our production of pencils from zero, well, this curve is going to be sloping downward, so we're going to have to decrease the production of our pens. So let's consider that we want to produce at this B point, and we have, so if we're at point B, we can then, we're saying, okay, we want this amount of pencils, let's say we want B number of pencils, well, in order to move to this point and to increase our number of pencils by B, we're going to have to decrease the number of pens that we produce on the y-axis by this amount. And we'll, we'll move to, uh, let's say, C number of pens. I probably shouldn't be using the same letters for points and numbers, but hopefully this makes some sense that if we if we want to increase the number of pencils that we're producing, we're going to have to decrease the number of pens we're producing because we have a finite amount of resources in this economy. And this is why our PPF is sloping downwards. This curve has a negative slope at all points. It's always sloping downwards. As we increase our number of pencils, we're going to have to decrease our number of pens. And the same is true the other way around, if we want to increase the number of pens we produce and we move from B to A, we're going to have to decrease the number of pencils. And this is what we mean by a trade-off. On our PPF, we are using our resources fully productively. So on the PPF, 
we are productively efficient, productively efficient. So we are producing at the best possible frontier. We're producing as much as we possibly can. So all we can do then, we can't produce any more. All we can do is decide what we want to produce. If we're on this PPF curve, which is now a red curve, as I've drawn it, well, we're producing as much as we can. The only question is, what do we actually produce? What combination of these goods do we produce? And so we can move along this curve in order to produce different amounts of pens and pencils. Uh, what I've got here, I've got point E, which is clearly outside of the PPF. And point E clearly has us producing an awful lot of pencils. It has us producing, let's say this is F number of pencils. And we have this number of pens, which is let's say G number of pens. And this point E is unfeasible. Unfeasible because we are outside of the production frontier. This frontier is telling us the maximum that we can produce. So we can't produce this point E because it's outside of the frontier. We can only produce at best on the frontier. We can't go beyond it. We can't produce, if we're producing E or G number of pens, the best we can do is this point here. Sorry that this diagram is getting a bit messy, but the best we can do is H number of pencils because we only have a finite number of resources. And again, this enforces the idea of a trade-off. If we want G number of pens, we're going to have to only have H number of pencils. We can't have F number of pencils. And the final point we've got on here is point D, which is clearly within the production possibility frontier, the PPF. And what we notice about point D is that it is possible. We can easily produce at this point. We have quite a low number of pens that we're producing and quite a low number of pencils we're producing. It's very easy easy to produce this amount, but this is inefficient because we could increase our production of pencils and we could increase this production of pencils all the way to the frontier without having to decrease our production of pens. If we're at this point D, we could just keep increasing pencils and we don't have to trade off anything. And again, we could increase our production of pens all the way to the frontier without having to decrease our production of pencils. So the point here is that if we are producing anywhere inside the curve, so let me get a black marker, anywhere inside the curve in this black dashed area, this is going to be productively inefficient. And if we are producing, let's get it in blue, if we are producing in this dashed blue area outside of the curve, this is unfeasible. We can't do that. So all that is left is this curve in the middle of these two, which I'll do in red there, nice and thick. All that's left is this curve, which tells us this is the best we can do. This is productively efficient and it is feasible. So we can do it and it's the most efficient use of our resources. And that's what the PPF shows us. In an ideal world, we will be producing on this PPF. It's the most we can produce. And then the only question is which exact one of these points, this curve has infinitely many points, all of these combinations of resources make up the curve. So where do we produce on that? But that's a question for a different video. And that's saying how many pens and pencils are actually being demanded by people. Do we want to just produce the most pens possible and we don't care about pencils? Or what is more likely, do we want some combination of the two, which was our initial point B, where in a real life economy, we tend to want some pens, some pencils, and this is where we have a trade-off. We meet somewhere in the middle and that's where we maximize our utility. But that will wrap up this video. Make sure to subscribe for lots of future videos. Check out the playlist. I'll be making further videos on the PPF, going into shifts of the PPF and some different shapes that it can have. And make sure to leave a like on this video if it was at all useful.